ladies and gentlemen, get ready for combos. Well, let's see how long the opponent lets us do cool things. Triggers. What is happening? Commanders. <laughs> In my opinion, the most broken deck you're going to see. Monkey. This is Historic Brawl. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB. Today we are continuing my toxic Planeswalker Commander run in Historic Brawl with Liliana of the Veil. I've actually never made this video and it always did seem a little bit too cheap because yes, you can Dark Ritual out Liliana. Wow, it wins games. Spoiler alert, I'm not going to do that one time in this video. Why? Because I have standards? No, because I'm not that lucky. However, this is still a very good deck, and I look forward to showing off all the ways that it is a very good deck. Liliana is a wonderful commander that can both remove opponent's things and force discard, and then you break that parity by gaining advantage in other ways and using her ultimate. So we have a lot of ways to proliferate to use her ultimate sooner. We have a lot of other ways to get little bitty card advantage, make the also making the opponent discard and exile cards from their hands. You know, we got all the little rats, like the virus beetle. I, I call these all rats. They all remind me of burglar rat. You know what I mean? So we've got acquisition expert, the mentioned burglar rat, corrupt court official, all that little stuff. Elder Fang disciple, just pick at their hand. And then we get advantage later. We just force them into miserable positions with Davriel and Rankle, Master of Pranks, and Sheldred, and the One Ring. And we do have the Peer into the Abyss combo. It combines very well with either Davriel or Sheldred the Apocalypse, or it combines with Orcish Bowmasters as ways to combo in the game. But there's also just other evil stuff we can do to our opponent. Really, this deck is so evil. If you like making people miserable, I've got a deck for you. Terror Grid. It's like the best Terror Grid deck. When you put this, when you put down Terror Grid with Liliana on the battlefield, plusing, oh, oh, they hate it. I promise you they hate it. If you are looking for Wilds of Eldraine standard content and you clicked on my video anyway, thank you. You're, you are a true fan. You are amazing. Check out the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel. I believe it will have a video there. I still have to record it. The timing for all of this is weird because I'm traveling. So I had to record some videos ahead and couldn't get them all done in early access because I fly the same day as early access. Early access is actually happening like an hour from now at the time I'm recording this. So my intention, what I think will happen is I'm going to record some videos, send them to those channels that I have the uh, weekly arrangement with. They'll, they, those will be Wilds of Eldraine videos. They'll air over there. And by the time I get back, these Historic Brawl videos will have filled up my regular channel to the point that now they're launching Wilds of Eldraine on Arena. We can all play it, and I can start releasing some Wilds of Eldraine videos for you. And if you want Eldraine content, I've got a serious question for you. Did you watch all six plus hours of my set review? Because I already recorded that. You can tell because my voice is just hanging on by a thread. Did you? Then what are you complaining about? Go watch it. And then, then watch it again, because by the time you get to the end, you'll have forgotten what happened in the beginning. So, yes, we're going to have all kinds of Wilds of Eldraine fun. I'm not ignoring the set. I haven't quit standard, blah, 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 things people say. Y'all crazy. You know what? You know what I have to say to all of you? Plus one. Discard. Yeah. You didn't like that, did you? No, you didn't. Please check out the sponsors of this video, CoolStuffInc.com, promo code CGB5, order your Wilds of Eldraine, pre-order your Doctor Who, get yourself a discount, get a Covert Go Blue token, and Moxfield, the best deck building site on the internet. Click on the deck list, check out my profile, hit follow. You can keep up with all of my decks and what I'm brewing and working on. Like, if you had clicked on my Moxfield link, or if you had bookmarked my Moxfield link and just checked it, the decks I'm going to play in the early access event are already there, and I haven't even started the event yet. You could know exactly what I'm playing in Eldrain ahead of the crowd. So go do that. Thank you. Nope, that's what I say at the end. Let's dive in. Let Liliana's nonsense begin. Command Fest Orlando is coming October 20th to 22nd. So get ready for a weekend full of Magic the Gathering in one of the country's premier vacation destinations. Get your tickets now at commandfestorlando.com. Planeswalker Showdown. Obnixilus the Adversary. Bowmasters. Probably very good there. This seems very good as well. On the play just seems good. Keep. Keep. 
signet instead of hmm a creature i think it's bowmasters we'll play the signet later because they might play a creature bowmasters can pick off Ooh, at great cost to the bowmaster itself oh well feels kind of bad but we have a blocker for Liliana on the play. And that's what's important. When I win, drop it. Underdog, you're fine in the graveyard, right? You don't mind. No attacks. Haste. They already showed us some. Now I gotta keep their board clear so they don't get to make copies of the adversary easily. What does that do? Does it untap? Sacrifice a creature to untap it. Meow? Fire one. Off you go. Nom 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 nom. Now I'll attack. This can pressure an Obnixilus that dares come out here to fight. No, my girl. A delay. Do we Nothing move more. her? We've got the cling. Let's decline for now. Wait, what? And Dizer is put into a graveyard. Conjure it into your graveyard. Okay. This is pretty good graveyard fuel. It is a 3 1. Hmm. How to proceed? I think I want to get this down. Do I want to trade? I guess so. I mean, Ob is obnoxious. I'm really going to think about this one. A charming offer, I'm sure. You get blocks? We get blocks. They both have an earth? Okay. I think I can respond to them activating an earth by exiling, but I'm not positive. Or in the graveyard, this will be five. We'll need one more somehow. Reclamation, cool. We can wait for that to target. Black Market Connections is nice. Gives us something cool to do. Thirty to eighteen. And they go get the other one. Okay, they really like having graveyard fuel. I'm I, I'm vibing. I get it. Hmm. Don't think they'll block. Well, this reborn isn't looking great here. Let's pass. Children's Edict is a really good answer to an ob if they want to do this. So they create the copy. Copy hits the, the battlefield, but they can't use it yet. After 1,000 years. So we make them sacrifice it now. A new conquest. And this happens. They make Notions a devil. Of morality. Oh, <laughs> Shake down the locals. Power. I don't know if I can get rid of all of the recyclers. 
I guess I could grab one with the vile offering potentially. Well, life life is cards here. We've got black market connections. Sorry. Sorry, underdog. I feel bad for you. Now Liliana back in command. Waste not. Expertise. Kill it. Let it get nothing going. Yeah, they're fine with that. How dare you destroy what I've built? Attack the hand. It wastes not cooking. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch my things. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. That's a card. My goodness, Liliana and Waste Not is beautiful. In the battle of the three mana planeswalkers, going first matters a lot. Yoink! Uh oh. And Grasp? It's a pretty good turn. Didn't expect that. Ignoring Liliana. Got eaten alive? Yeah, I think you do. knew this was a waste of time. Yeah, that's not cool. Wonder how many more effects like that they have. Still, the connections will keep overpowering them. This fight finished before Brooke. You won't be outsmarting me. That's a fresh card. A Yog Moth. I'll just hold back. Ona has shown themselves to be tricksy. Cutthroat. Okay. Just a treasure, please. It's getting spicy out there. Yog. Kill it. Now they can get it back. I have to get them to use their mana somehow. I have no cards in hand. We have a cling without enough cards in the graveyard. One of your friends has to leave. They pointed at my face. One target your planeswalker from a graveyard onto the battlefield. That reclamation's a pain. Seven mana. One of those. We've got to get like more cards into our graveyard, I think. We are on a little clock from Black Market Connections. One on clock two, they're at nine. Cutthroats back. Cutthroats comes out. Reclamation available. They play land. That's all they got. Okay. Them discarding a card doesn't do anything. Make one treasure. use Reclamation to get it back, but they lose two. And then we make them discard it. Actually, maybe I'm supposed to discard that swamp, right? Drop it. If I discard that swamp... And I can cling. Oh, 
All right, they go to three. Proliferate gets us something out of the graveyard, right? How much is it to proliferate? Three life. I can get back a cutthroat. I think that ends the game. Sacrifice another. Whenever this or another creature you control dies. Man. Woo! Woo! Tight. <laughs> Not a life point to mess around with. Oh my goodness. But we'll take those. Who's it gonna be? Who challenges the Liliana Vess? Gix! Mono Black Mirror. Please go first. We do. And we have a Heartless Act and a Sweeper. I'll keep it. I'm a little worried that we're going to miss a land drop somewhere. Hard to ask for much more here, though. Don't thought seize me, bro. You wouldn't. Changeling Outcast. All right, land. Beautiful. I think we do this so that Liliana next turn can make them sack their two drop. And then they have nothing on board for the Gix. If they have two one drops, that's bad, but they don't. I'm going to keep hiding the Mox Amber. Sacrifices must be made. Why is this in your hand? Oh no! Oh that that could be a punish. Let's find out. I guess I should have played the Mox Amber. <laughs> as long as it's in your hand, it's like something you could discard to a Liliana. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What do we do? Really tempting to tear grid here. Oh, it's so mean. I love it. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather discard rankle because we can get it with cruelty of Gix if we draw a land. And they might give us a land here. Nope. They discarded a go for the throat. Okay. All right. 0 for 1 on getting Terra Grid to steal something. But they can't run forever. Terra Grid's on the board and they discard a non land or a non spell. Do not touch me again. Oh, any permanent. We get it. Hired Poisoner, Death Touch. Oh, wait. Oh, we go chapter one. Oh, we go chapter one. What you got? Oh, she was always meant to be mine. She was meant to be mine. <laughs> oh, the evil. So bad. Up against Tatiova. We're on the draw. We have tiny bones. We have Shieldred can be a very big problem for Simic. I'll, I'll keep it. We gotta draw land. If we draw land, we're okay. If they have a mana dork, we're gonna cut it down. No elf yet. Ooh, hello. What you got? They do have an elf and they have explore. Let's take the explore. That forced them into relying on their elf here. Inwide celebration and commit.
Third land feels good. Lily. Enough with the mysteries. Don't overthink things. Kix's command can go. We'll see if Lily is what they want to target with that command. Cap land, beautiful. All right. Now what? I mean, how are they going to beat a Shieldred? I know they're thinking they're going to commit the Drop Lily, it. but the Shieldred? Tear them apart. Tough choice. Tough, tough choice. Shelly, it is. One card left. Will I draw a land for Tear Grid? I will not. Tiny Bones. Liliana. Expertise unnecessary. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather. Extra draw. Mind Flayer for Tiny Bones. You devil. Now if I target you with a sack effect, I won't get Tiny Bones back unless. Yeah. I know, I could ultimate there, but yeah. But nah. There are more evil things to do than make the opponent choose which pile of permanence they want to keep. <laughs> The Prismatic Bridge. Not something that Liliana interacts well with. Only a few cards that do that job, like Invoke Despair. If we don't draw land, this could be really bad. But once again, Terror Grid, Shieldred, we're just drawing a lot of these legendaries that go so well with Liliana. We gotta stick with it. We've gotta believe in our deck. Our deck wouldn't just leave us on two lands, would it? That's not how magic works, is it? Yeah, let's go. Drop a card. How would they ever suspect this as an informant? It's literally like every rat in freaking Kamigawa seems to be Nazumi. That's a bad attitude I just had against rats. Don't judge a book by their cover. <laughs> uh, interesting spot. I'll attack you. I'll bobble. I'm very curious if there's a land on top of my library. There is not. Make them hold up mana next turn. Nope. We ride. Beautiful. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. Binding. Okay. Well, this isn't how things were supposed to go. I don't know if I was gonna get her back, so here we I'm go. I'm tired of your secrets. I'm gonna drop the edict. I don't think they're gonna ever cast a Sika. I think they're only casting Prismatic Bridges. How about binding for one mana out of a Historic Brawl 100 card singleton deck? Ooh, that's a bad draw. That is so bad. One with a foretold card. Could be a Doom Scar, could be an Epiphany. Oh no, it's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. Slam it. That... Interesting. My heart is breaking. Come on, prismatically prodigious, let's go. 
Now we draw it. I think it's gonna take some Davriel magic to get out of this. Trust me. Whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. Spells cost B less to cast. Yes. Uh, sack two permanents. No. Creatures get minus one, minus zero. Maybe. Uh, lose one life for each creature I control. Sure. Tasha. Great. This fight will be relaxing compared Great. to toiling. Seems oh cool. There's God a Crucius in the graveyard. That's something they have in this deck. Don't try anything cheeky now. Okay, not lands in hand. The furry. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. Land off the top. Hmm. Tough. Tough times. All right. Uh, plus one, plus one. Blacklist to cast. Which is you don't control, get plus one. Sure. You got it. All right. Now we need a legendary to cast the offering. Is it Yogmoth or Shieldred? Um, I mean, they hit me with a Tasha. It's not that bad. If they bounce me with Fairy, is it bad? The Tasha ultimate is brutal. The Teferi one is medium, right? You achieved what few have. Uh, well, clearly I'm the These are my terms and my price. Whenever you draw a card, you gain two life, plus two to draw a card, or Return two random creatures. No, nope, not good. Not a good split this time. I guess I'll draw a card and gain a life, and then I will lose six. And pass. I was really hoping for a draw three. No, not Kaya! If you want a job done right. Ooh, that's Kaya. really good. That's really, really good. But what will she target? You can bounce the Shieldred. And I'll protect the binding? Yeah, that's pretty good too. Lose two. Get wrecked. If I had drawn three and hit some cards that I could cast really cheap because of my emblems, I think I would have had a chance, but I don't see it now. Too many planies. We'll scoop that up. Ah, rolled. That was min two landers, man. I should mulligan every first hand if it doesn't have Dark Ritual. Like, every single one. Another Tatiova, huh? They seem to want this matchup. I think it's got to be bad for Tatiova. So, all right, we're mulliganing. We only have two lands, no dark rituals. We'll keep. This is fine. It's not great. It's just fine. Opponent's already ramping, but their hand is already at four cards. Mm, lands and lands and more lands. Oh, oh boy. Raven dude. Doesn't really want to block though. Wanna get those birds cooking. Alright, Azusa, play out all the lands. Doing it. How many counter spells you got? None. Love that for us. This fight finished before you won't be outsmarting me. No Sundering. That last card must be Geese. Bird located. Matiova. Draw. 
Rod. And grow spiral. And land. And draw. This is fine. All of this is perfectly fine. So fine. Those cards are just going to leave anyway. I mean, that's a thing you can do, but all you did was save me a card. <laughs> Ren. Mm-mm. Nom 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 nom. Get, give me give me that time walk. I I don't like that just hanging out in that graveyard. More birds. Kaka. Corsair. Into a land that draws into a land. That's in your hand. That draws into an auger that you can cast. There's a sanctuary on top, and that's it. You want to rumble? No? What do we have here? Six mana? Six mana. Well, I don't really want to discard things then, do I? Let's start making you sacrifice some creatures. <laughs> Off you go. Can't block. I mean, I guess we should hold it, right? Because if they hit another uncastable on top, we're okay. But they might put a lot more cards in their hand on any given turn. Oh, look at them go. Living that best life. Tail's end. Yeah. Nyx Bloom Ancient. Triple mana. Why wouldn't they have that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Tails End. Last time, a Tails ended my Liliana ability. <laughs> Let's see if they do it again. They really shouldn't. They shouldn't. Ah, uh, okay. I'm tired of your secrets. All right, bring that a card. Paper Sanctuary is a problem. I guess Bowmasters? Bowmasters. Seems good. Go for it. Target one. Target two. <laughs> Target three. Target four. Target five. Target six. And seven. Oh, they stop? Why would you stop? Everything's going so well. Mm hmm. Veil of Summer, no? Okay. Well, about to get ugly. I mean, we'll make him do it. I probably shouldn't keep targeting this. But what can I say? I'm a maniac. My hand! 
Okay. Let's see where they go from here. Looks pretty good for them. Not gonna lie. Rebuke. That's enough. We don't need to play no more. Maybe a little dark ritual? Oh no, Tamio! Well, our discard effects don't work against Tamio, so. On the play, bot sees the ramp piece, kill the mana dork, and start making them discard and then shelly them. Seems really good. Will it be good enough and fast enough? Tails and Tezzeret's Reckoning Uro. Guess I gotta take the counter. Uro seems really good too. Keep it on top. Top deck, make them discard. Gotta get the discards in while we can. Hmm, maybe the Faceless Haven will make them regret that. They did keep on top, remember? Okay, they're gonna reckon. Enough with the mysteries. <laughs> Cut down gone. We have things we'd rather. I'll get recovery gone. So these three cards are just in exile until one of them gets played. Once the one in exile is played, which it just was, Secret Keeper, then you see the others clear out. Seems like a good time for a Shieldred. Probably did that in the wrong Don't order. They can bring out Uro, but I can make them sacrifice Uro. I can also potentially drain the Uro? I think I'd have to draw exactly the specific card. Two points. Oh, four. Well, can't make them sacrifice Uro now. Wait, yeah, I can. Bring her out Your again. Have to leave. But if we can keep killing Uro, we can keep getting in there for damage. If they power up Hall and attack Liliana, we just play it again. That's not the play. What they really need is something to go with this Uro. Want, like they want another creature or they want to play Tamio, and they didn't get there. Ooh, Eldest Reborn, does that get countered? Probably, so let's just make you sack Uro. Oh, I've always hated crimes. And hit. Ten life. Are we gonna get there? Eight life. Legitimate business, Shelly. That's what they needed last turn. All right, Tamio. Remember, Ellis Reborn won't work with Tamio on the field, and neither will Liliana. It's a bad place to be. And they're gonna dump four cards in the graveyard. They were looking for Haze of Pollen. They didn't hit it. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. I mean, my whole deck doesn't work, right? Five, 
five. They need one more card in the graveyard. Tamiya will do that. Yeah, we're not going to get there. Unless we do this. I have become too involved with my work. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. Veil? Wow. Veil? <laughs> Against a mono black deck. Wow. Uro. Always Uro. But no Tamiyo this turn means our sacrifice effects might still work. I also think they have a counter of some kind. All right, Uro down. Drop it. Is this where we let the hall hit? Yeah, we would. Absolutely let the hall hit here. Let's get forests. And Uro. Nope, they need one more. Okay, choose an on-land permanent you control. You can leave on the battlefield. And. Discard. Shilly. Expert. Another card. Gotta get him. <laughs> Gotta get him. It's another full graveyard for Uro. There's a Yarg's Fen Lurker that we could reanimate. <laughs> That's not what I would call the greatest. Baral. Solve. Solve for what? I mean, I guess they can still bring Uro out, but with a card in hand, they'll get wrecked. They get Time Warp. Okay. That's two more points for you. From the apocalypse. This is a good match. We keep knocking on the door. They keep trying to find a way out. It's a land. They have all the storm giants that they could trade with Shieldred. All right, here comes Zero. Two points, six life. Nothing in hand for this Fen Lurker. Yeah, I don't see any creative discardy things to do here. So let's just get this Fen Lurker. Make them exile absolutely nothing. Play this land. Play this Liliana. Make them sacrifice. They sacrifice Brawl. Power up Haven. Attack with all. Get them to one. They block Uro on Shieldred. And then they're just on nothing. They're not dead, though. I wonder why they conceded. Five cards in Graveyard. They can bring Uro out again. And then I've got to get the Fen Lurker through, so they need Uro plus something else. I guess they just had enough. Close game. Very close game. And we are back for the post game wrap. And are you still getting this? Because I moved my mic back. I just want to see if it sounds different. I got tired of it just occupying my face. Now I can really talk to you. I'm not going to talk to you about Liliana. This deck is. You know if you like this deck. If you watch this whole video and said that looks fun, you should play this deck. It's going to win. It's going to lose. It's great. Um, Gran Turismo is in the theaters. I saw it in IMAX. It's okay. You don't have to see it if you're not like a huge racing movie fan. If you love racing movies in IMAX, there is some of that like in the second act, but you might have to wait like an hour to see the racing. 
And uh, the acting honestly feels like the first half of the movie, the script was written by AI because it like they don't trust you to know anything about gaming or racing. It's like a movie that has gaming and racing, but the dialogue is written for people who are into neither. And it's a really, at that point, I'm not really loving the movie. But the second half, uh, the um, the actors actually start to do some heavy lifting, especially, uh, I, I always consider him Chief Jim Hopper from Stranger Things. He, he, he is by far the standout of this whole movie. He tries to bring kind of the heavier stuff from Act 2 into a, a real place, and I think he does a good job. So if you really like the Gran Turismo games and you really like racing movies in theaters, you can run out and see Gran Turismo and IMAX. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to talk about something in the outro to fill some time because I know the videos are a little shorter because I had to record a bunch of them and I feel bad about that. But now I do have a few extra minutes before early access starts. So I want to get all the watch time that you're used to. And I don't know, Covert Go movie review is something some people have asked me about and I talk about in Discord sometimes. I don't know, here you go. But I will say this, if you love racing movies, if you wanna watch the greatest racing movie of all time, personal opinion, hum, you know, just personal opinion, Rush. The movie is called Rush, as Chris Helmsworth. It's so good, it's amazing. It's what, it's what every racing movie wishes it could be. And honestly, I think Gran Turismo could have gotten there if the writers slash director trusted the audience to get it and not have to have it spoon fed to them for the first half. Like, you'll know exactly what I mean. Basically everything Orlando Bloom says just strikes you as, uh, yes, uh, obviously that is fill in dialogue, my God. So anyway, that's my take on Gran Turismo. You don't have to see it in theater unless you're a huge fan of this or that. The movie at the end is okay. Tier list, it would be like a C. And that's because I thought the second act, and it's a long movie, my God, but I thought the second half was significantly better than the first. That first half, it was it was flirting with the bottom of a D tier and it got to a C. So uh, go check out Gran Turismo if you want to, not sponsored, but do watch, rent, buy, whatever, stream, rush. R-U-S-H, that movie is amazing. Uh, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite? What is the best? racing movie of all time by your book. And, uh, you know, was Gran Turismo good? Try to avoid sp intense spoilers because nobody asked for this. And uh, also let me know if you like Liliana the Veil. Is there a better discard commander for Historic Brawl? I don't think so. Thank you for watching this video. If you actually stayed till the end through all that, wow, that is really amazing. You really support the content. Top it off, hit like, hit subscribe. Go to coolstuffinc.com, use promo code CGB5, pre-order Eldrain or Doctor Who. Get yourself a nice token, get yourself a discount, and check out Moxfield, the best deck building site on the internet. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool.